I and my friends recently decided to take a short trip to one of the most exclusive beach resort in West Africa, right here in Ibeju, Lekki, Lagos, Nigeria. We didn't know exactly where it was, however, all thanks to Google Map, it was on a Saturday and it took us roughly about 2 hours to get to the beach. And oh yeah, the roads were fairly good and because we were unfortunate it rained on this day, there was a little traffic here and there. When we finally got there, we were all blown away. Boom! La Campagne Tropicana Beach is focused on presenting Africa's hospitality and culture in a cosmopolitan manner. The resort has a very clean beach, a lagoon and a mangrove forest that provides visitors with the opportunity to observe at close quarter a wide variety of tropical flora that includes snake trees, mangroves, they have monkeys, they have squirrels, they have bats and they have various species of birds such as kingfisher, seahawks and dogs. The fun activities that could be carried out here include exploring the mangrove forest, you know having team play, you can use this place to bond with your family and team members, you can go fishing in the lagoon or you know you can decide to play football with your friends or you could play volleyball or you could even go swimming in the longest pool in Africa and you can just decide to do nothing and sit in between the sand and just look at the heavy waves come from the Atlantic Ocean. is ideal for honeymoons, corporate retreats and conferences, family getaways, destination proposals and weddings. When you arrive at La Campagne Resort, you will be requested to pay an entrance fee of 6,000 Naira, which is $16. That would give you access to the pool, you have a horde, you have a volleyball court, you can you know, walk around all around the, the, the beach. Extra activities like boat cruise has a fee of 25,000 Naira, $70 thereabout. Bad gang, these are the bad gang. Don't come close to me. Eh? Yeah. Kush like isolating herself from things like this. <laughs> from things like this. All these celebrities. You know? You see know, them. Oh my god. They're oh cele the celebrities. You know what I'm saying? What's your name? Michelle. 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 Okay. If you intend to spend the night here, it's going to cost you at least 60,000 Naira, which is $170, and you'll be given a room that can accommodate two persons max. And there are other apartments in here that are even more expensive, but this was the particular one. This was the amount that I was being told.
it is advisable you come here with your own drinks and food because theirs is very pricey if you would ask me my opinion Fortunately, it, it rained this day, so we did not do much like we planned. However, we still found a way to have fun. We played with the water, we did races, we did chases. We took pictures, of course, and we played truth or there. We ate, we drank, you know, we rode on horses. Most of all, we danced and we walked all around the resort. If you are going to visit here, I would suggest you check the weather forecast and ensure it is not raining on that particular day because I will tell you 100% that the resort is best enjoyed when the sun is at its best. I'm gonna stop this vlog for a minute and let you guys know that this particular place is one of the hardest places any content creator can actually make a video. Hopefully I'm gonna tell you guys how you can make a video without even being caught. Probably that's an idea for a video but I'm actually under, uh, uh, I don't know what to call this but you know nobody can actually see me here. If not, I'm gonna have like five security guards come with me but so I'm gonna continue with the vlog. Let's go. Think about this place. Isn't it cool? I think it's amazing. Like super amazing. And the waves are crazy. Like you almost feel like you're gonna die. You know, right? Yeah. Do you want us to like go inside? Not too. Not too far. Okay. So let's try something now. left the resort at about 6 30 with debola driving like 007 uh with little vision because it was getting very dark and it was raining a little bit right so we got back to lagos city about 8 30 and if you would ask me how the experience was i will tell you it was worth it 